the accomplishment under the ADA? Well, of course, the obvious accomplishment is that a mere 30 years after the Civil Rights Act, I'm approximating, people with disability were included as protected class in the, the Civil Rights Act of 64. Indiana Civil Rights Act, which the Indiana Civil Rights uh, Commission is in charge of enforcing, was three years prior to the Federal Civil Rights Act of 64. It was 61, which is a surprise somewhat, given Indiana's colorful history with discrimination. The, the Indiana Civil Rights Commission enforces the Indiana Civil Rights Law, and basically we can't enforce anything other than that, although when state law doesn't specifically address an issue, uh, we can go to federal civil rights law to look for what the position ought to be. Uh, so there are, to my knowledge, there are only three areas where Indiana law actually addresses the same or similar things as the ADA. There is an employment provision uh, which, more, uh, which essentially mirrors Title I of the ADA employment. So that gives the Indiana Civil Rights Commission essentially the, the ability to enforce the Title I of the ADA, although it's, what do they call it, the, Indi the Indiana uh, Disabilities Act. It's unofficially called that. Uh, but it only addresses Title I. And then there's fair housing law, which is not the ADA, but uh, Indiana has its own fair housing law, which mirrors the federal fair housing. As a matter of fact, the Indiana Civil Rights Commission does investigate cases for the EEOC and for HUD, housing cases and, and the EEOC cases. Also, uh, well, uh, education, I guess there, there's, I don't know much about, that's a separate law. That's, uh, when the ADA was first passed, a lot of people sort of complained and said, well, it doesn't, it doesn't address uh, air travel, it doesn't address education, it doesn't address this. That's because there are other federal laws that do, and the ADA addresses those things which are not addressed by some other law. Um, it's, not, it's not as incomplete as it looks superficially. <laughs> Indiana law does say, does include disability in the list of people who are protected classes. You know, thou shalt not discriminate against people because of this, that, and the other thing. And disability is one of those things. But it doesn't go into the letter of the law the way the ADA does. But there is this, a provision in civil rights law that where a state's law does not, and I'm not a lawyer, this is not legal advice, <laughs> where, where, where uh, the state law does not address a particular issue, but it is an issue that federal law speaks on, that it is proper to go to the federal law for the resolution of that issue or the interpretation. And when the Supreme Court was doing its business undercutting the ADA wherever they could um, in the last several years, that had an effect on, on our ability. We had to go by the redefined definition of, of disability after all those Supreme Court decisions. Uh, fortunately, we're getting, getting back to the original intent of Congress uh, and with, with the revised ADA.